So it's getting ready to happen and I'm talking about that transition between the summer patterns and these fall patterns. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the differences, where we need to be going, why those fish are moving there, and some of the tactics that you need to be using whenever you're looking for these fish. So we're gonna break this down into two different types of areas. The first area is gonna be your inlet marshes, your bays and your lagoons. And the other area is gonna be in your passes and your inlets. So let's get right into it. First one we're gonna talk about is the inland areas. So in the summertime, what happens is these fish move out into the furthest most points that are out closest to that open water or they get out on offshore structure out in those open bays whether it be a reef or whether it be oil platforms or anything like that and what they're doing is they're looking for the cooler water they're looking for the most dissolved oxygen and that's where the bait's going to be so that's where they're happy they're comfortable out there and they have the prey well what happens is in the fall time when those water temperatures drop the bait fish is going to gather up now these fish are not worried about being comfortable anymore because that water temperature is nice for them they're going to be comfortable in that water what they're looking for is they're looking to get fed so what they're going to do is they're going to be really bait centric so number one thing that we need to do is we need to look for the most amount of bait in an area and you're going to see big pods of these baits now when it comes to fishing these big pods of bait the best thing to do is if it's along a shoreline we're looking for ambush places so it could be a point that's sticking out a little bit further if it's a grass flat it could be potholes these fish hide around these areas and they ambush the bait as it goes by now sometimes you're going to see some feeding activity that's within that bait. Now just a little tip for you on that. A lot of your larger fish is going to be on the outside edges of that bait or they're going to be underneath the bait. The more aggressive smaller fish are going to be amongst that bait feeding on it. So if you're looking for the better quality fish you're probably better off fishing on those outside edges. But anytime that you see an ambush point in the area whether that be a point, whether they be potholes, or whether it be a depth change those are good places to look for your fish. Now when you're fishing in these inland waters in the fall time I like covering ground. I like using something that I can move fast with. These fish are not going to be in the same place from day to day. They're going to follow that bait wherever they are. So you're going to need something that's going to be able to keep up with these fish that can make those changes and that way you can find these fish using something like the top waters or the skinny lippers or paddle tails are great for covering ground and then when you find those fish you can really dissect the area with them. Those are my recommendations. Definitely stick with a fin fish type of lure. Now one caveat to all this is sometimes you will get a shrimp run in some of these areas and these fish are going to start targeting in on shrimp. They're going to dial in on shrimp. So that's when I do recommend going to a shrimp style of lure, something like the prawn, the prawn junior, depending on the size of the shrimp that you're seeing. But most of the time, you're going to be seeing these fish keyed in on fin fish. Now let's talk about inlets and passes. So what happens in the summertime, especially trout, they're going to move out of these inlets and passes and they are going to spawn out in the Gulf or out in the ocean, depending on where you're at. And they're going to spend their summers out there. Well, in the fall time, whenever that water temperature starts to decrease, those days get shorter and that sun gets lower in the sky. Those are all signals for those trout to start moving back into the inlets and passes. So you're going to pick up a lot of fish there. But at the same time, what's happening is that's giving that signal for the redfish, the bull redfish, to start moving out of those passes to spawn. They're going to start their spawning. And then when they're done with that, when they start coming in, that's when the flounder are going to start moving out. So inlets and passes are very busy places in the fall, whether that be early fall, middle fall, or even late fall, there's going to be a lot of activity around there. So the way that we're going to fish this, we're going to use the same types of lures. I like using bait fish imitators no matter where you are in the fall. And the reason reason why is these fish are going to be bait centric. They're really going to be looking for the fin fish. So big large paddle tails are good. Something like our new five inch mulligan is going to be a great one. Topwater lures like the moonwalker, subsurface lures like the skinny lipper. Those are all great options, especially if you're seeing them feed towards the surface. But your inlets and passes, because we're dealing with swift water, we're dealing with deep water, we're going to fish those a little bit different. You're going to have to use bigger weights. And it really depends on the current and also the depth. So you could be using anywhere from say a half of an ounce all the way up to a two ounce, depending on those two criteria. Now, one of my favorite ways to rig a soft plastic is using the Haas weedless football jig head. And we have those in sizes from 3 16 of an ounce all the way up to two ounce. So we have you covered there. And that way you can get the right one for your situation. And you can rig a ton of different soft plastics on this. It really is a great setup and it keeps you from getting hung up as much. Now, when it comes to inlets and passes, one of the best places is going to be along the jetties. That's a lot of structure that these fish can use to ambush their prey. And a lot of times, especially your bull redfish when they're out there, spawning they're going to hang out at the ends of those jetties and that way they can move in and out as they need they don't like to travel very far so they're only going to go as far as they need to now what happens in the fall time is we get these 
fronts that come through, the wind picks up there, and it might not be safe to fish out there in the jetty, or maybe you're just in a vessel that you might not be able to get out there, that's when you can start looking at those deeper drop-offs in the inlets. Those are going to be the types of places that the fish use. The steeper that drop-off, the better. And they're going to use that as highways to move in and out of those inlets. So those steep drop-offs is a great place to look. Another good place around these passes, if you have them, is going to be those residential docks. Residential docks are great because they offer current breaks. Each one of those pylons is a current break, and the fish will use those to ambush their prey as it's moving in and out. So docks can be really good if you have those. So even though it doesn't feel like it in some places, fall is going to be here before you know it. So I want you to be prepared. So whenever your summer spots are not producing anymore, more than likely these fish have moved and they're starting to go in their fall spots, which is going to be close to their winter spots. So think about that. They're going to be on that transition and that's going to happen anytime now. So if you are looking for any of these lures or the jig heads that I mentioned, those Haas Weedless Football Jig Heads, they are available at fishstrong.com. And remember, our members do get a huge discount off a of tackle at fishstrong.com. And if you have any questions, questions, go ahead and put those down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, I really do appreciate you watching. Now, go get them. Have a good one. Bye.